All right, so here is the Raspberry Pi 3 Zero and the Raspberry Pi Zero. Notably, the Raspberry Pi 3 has no disk. There is no SD card in there. And it is booting off this USB cable um, into the Raspberry Pi Zero. And this is the wiring that lets the Raspberry Pi Zero reboot the Raspberry Pi Zero, or the Raspberry Pi 3. So here is a monitor hooked up to the Raspberry Pi 3. This is a fresh Raspbian installation, so I can log in with Pi password Raspberry. If I can type Raspberry, you can see that there are no files. So let's pretend that we are a build and maybe we are a bad build and we put some malware or something or junk files on the machine. Oh, there they are. You can see that this is actually going to the Raspberry Pi Zero. Here is SSH session into it, uh, into the Zero, running IOSTAT, so you can see the network block device here at the bottom. So you can see that there are no writes yet, but once we do a sync over here to flush the file system state, you can see it show up there. So the malware junk files are there, so now we want to reboot it. So on the Raspberry Pi Zero over here, we can say, Reboot, reboot the three, and when we run that, you'll see this machine is angry that its block device went away, and then it reboots. So what happened there was it ran the GPIO pins and basically pushed the reset button. So now it's booting back up. If we look over here, you can actually see it doing a bunch of I.O. There's the rainbow screen. See a bunch of like block reads and writes happening there. And there's a Raspberry Pi 3 booting afresh. Still doing lots of I.O. Let me log back in. I still can't type. And the files are gone. We can also do stuff like, instead of booting into Linux, we can instead reboot into FreeBSD. Again, the machine's disk goes away, it gets turned off, and unfortunately, this demo is boring because this FreeBSD image has no GUI and it's SSH only, but um, you can trust me that maybe it works.